Kill them all! Campbell. Campbell, let's go! Let's go! Jeff Okuda! Let's go! He's got nothing! And he's bumping! I said GG's, he said, ah. I guess I don't know what I'd say. I think I'd be pretty fucking livid if I lost like this, so. Let's go. Yes, back where his user was. Get in there! Go, you psycho! Jefferson. Get your ass in the end zone! And I did ball game! How many games did we claw back from a narrow defeat? How many games were all but lost for us to find ourselves here at the Super Bowl? I won't lie to you, gentlemen. There have been Mickey Mouse rings. I'm just like LeBron. In Madden 23, I've had some very legitimate rings, but I won't lie. I've had some cakewalks too. Back-to-back -back rage quits at some points. Playing the bummiest of bums in the playoffs. <laughs> but if I'm LeBron, then this is the Cleveland Cavaliers down 3-1 to the best basketball team of all time, the 73-9 and nine Warriors. My average win margin this season of Wheel of Mutt is what? Three points? Maybe three points? I won a game by one single point. The last two games I've won by a field goal. And in the NFC Championship, we finally had a double-digit victory, 17-7. to seven. That's the biggest win we've got all season. So I'll tell you something right now before we go into this Super Bowl. All rings are rings. And when it's all said and done, the history books will just say Papa Meeg's Super Bowl. But between me and you, between everyone watching, Watching this video, this would be the most important ring. How would this affect Papa Meeg's legacy? Let's find out, gentlemen. Look, I'm not the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? I don't just get a cakewalk to the Super Bowl. <laughs> But damn, I mean, if I had to choose between playing the Giants and then the Niners without a quarterback or playing the Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals, I think I would rather be the Philadelphia Eagles. If anybody had a rough, it was the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals had to beat three teams just to potentially get to the Super Bowl. They had to play the Bills. They had to play the Ravens, then the Bills, then the Chiefs, then the refs. They had to play four teams, actually. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel em Up, baby. Well, as we move into the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl here, there's two things to think about. One, what do we upgrade with our wheel spins today? And two, who do we prestige? The prestige is really difficult for me. I think an offensive line prestige like Quentin Nelson or Marshall Yanda would probably be the smartest. It was very difficult to get my hands on this Marshall Yanda. He'll be an endgame guard. Whereas if I prestiged Megatron, Megatron would be a very good corner right now, but he will get outdated. It's hard to say Aaron Donald's a very good prestige right now, but he will get outdated too. When I look at this team and think who's most likely to get an another card. I think Damar Hamlin will very likely get a golden ticket, but golden tickets are going to be a while until we get those. So that's out of the question. Mike Evans could get a team of the year. I don't know. I don't want to base a prestige off of who might get a team of the year. The other thing is I'm kind of hoping Jason Kelsey gets a Super Bowl card. Don't know if he's going to get that or not, but we'll have to see. I'm going to be totally honest. When I look at my team right now, I do not have a prestige that I like. All right, gentlemen, it all comes out of this. Three wheel spins, a challenge wheel, and a Super Bowl. Always the best episode for Wheel of Mutt. Ooh, I have to do this so smart. Okay. So it's 95 jackpot, which is really good. My team is kind of stacked, so I don't I don't think it's going to be any ridiculous player. There are no 95 overall punters or kickers. My offense is so good. I'm tempted between a wide receiver that I would potentially prestige in case they got team of the year somehow or a corner. I think I do want to stack 
stack my corners. I think stacking corners is really, really important. Oh, Kudo's gotten us really far, and I'm very proud of him. But I think it's finally time he gets replaced. We've got a 95 jackpot. I can't say that this would be a prestige. I don't know if he'd be a prestige. The only thing I don't like about Charles Woodson is he went to the University of Michigan. Charles Woodson is an animal, though. Six foot one, 95 speed. Another one of my favorite things about a Charles Woodson is that 80 hit power. 80 hit power is actually really good for corners. There are corners like Primetime who have 55 hit power. And when somebody's King Henry or Quadfather gets out to the edge and you got Primetime out there, you have 0% chance of making that tackle. So I like a guy like Charles Woodson. So now we'll have Megatron, Jason Verrett, and Charles Woodson. My corners over the last two episodes have gotten crazy good. I am happy with what I decided here. Charles Woodson is going to be an animal. I'm subbing him in for Okuda. He's got good height and size too, which I love. 6'1 and taller is how I want all my corners to be. Definitely going to get a free pick artist here. So we'll throw that on. And there we go. Charles Woodson added to the lineup. All right, our second wheel spin. I'm really hoping I can somehow get a hold of the Scottish Hammer. And if not, I'm going to go full prestige on this pick right here. It's the height jackpot. Wow. I can take any player. They must be the height this lands on. If I get Black Santa, it's a jackpot and I get to choose. So wish me luck, baby. Come on, Black Santa. Oh my God, that might actually be Black Santa. Oh my God, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, what? I have a feeling that like really good punters are tall. So I'm going to bet like everything that the Scottish Hammer is not six foot tall. I bet you he's 6'3", but I'm going to click on him anyway. He's 6'1". Oh, you dick. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh. Earl, has your time come? Earl's time might have come. The only thing, dude, if I get Quadfather, if I get Quadfather, I'm going to have to, I'm going to feel like I have to prestige him, but I don't have to. I got to do this, dude. Quadfather is, I don't have a choice. I legitimately don't have a choice. That's actually all the coins I have. I hope my next wheel spin is packs, or we're gonna have to sell some stuff. That's fine. AJ Dillon, the quad father, one of the most busted halfbacks ever put in this game. Earl Campbell, you got us so far. It's AJ Dillon's turn now. I'm sorry. Let's look at our abilities, though. So Lamar's been amazing with his abilities. I don't want to change them, but I need to free up two AP for AJ Dillon. I don't think Hawkinson needs a deep out elite. I'm gonna get rid of nasty streak on Kelsey. I got an insane backfield 97, 97, 96. I'm loving it, and things are looking good here. You know who wouldn't be a bad prestige either is George Kittle because George Kittle is totally going to get team of the year but I just don't need that. I might actually prestige O-line. Our first two wheel spins were absolutely insane. This third and final wheel spin will be the last thing we do before the Super Bowl. I can sacrifice two elites for 194 overall player. I think I'm going to upgrade D tackle. Jeffrey Simmons is good, but if I can get a 94 D tackle, it'll be even better. So I'll sacrifice Jeffrey Simmons because he's going to come out himself. And I'll also sacrifice the 93 Roger Saffold that I pulled last episode. All right, I'm going to go turn this training into coins and then grab myself a 94 D tackle. Who that is to be determined. I can't stop. <laughs> What? No shot. No shot. I just, no. No, 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 no. Holy shit. I actually just pulled 94 Mike Vick. Just, I'm literally farming training variety packs to try and get, oh my God, no wonder I have a gambling addiction. Titans fans have no fear because I'm not replacing your boy. I am simply upgrading your boy. Yup. I got it by about 800 coins, baby. Jeff Simmons. So I sacrificed 91 Jeff Simmons and 93 Roger Saffold for 94 Jeff Simmons. He's just going to be a better version of his former self. That's the idea anyway. He gets one AP inside stuff, but he also gets some zero AP abilities. Damn, it would have been so nice if he got inside stuff and another free ability. Nevertheless, it's just gonna be the same as what Jeff Simmons did except with even better stats. 87 speed is absurdly fast for D-Tackle, so if I got a QB spy, that's amazing. 6'4", 94 strength, and the stat I always look at is Block Shed. Block Shed is so good, and then you only need one out of Power Moves and Finesse Moves to be good, but if both are good, that's even better. So 95, 96, 92. This is actually this is an incredible D-tackle. Low key, I might actually put this year's prestige up to a vote. I might let you guys vote on Twitter. What do you guys think about that? I've never let anybody decide a prestige other than myself. But right now, if I had to pick a prestige, it would be between Jeff Simmons, Megatron, Aaron Donald, Mike Evans, Marshall Yonda. Those are the only five options that I legitimately am considering. Okay, I can't worry about that right now. I gotta worry about winning the game. Here is the challenge wheel for our Super Bowl. And once this challenge pops up, 
Dude, three rushing touchdowns with how crazy Lamar's been and getting quadfather and our O-line. This is doable. The Super Bowl challenge wheel is always the most important. If I can complete this challenge, I'll get one of any pack in the store to start next season with. This is so, so, so good. It's been a while since I've completed a Super Bowl challenge. It's not easy to do. Failed to start a game and unexpected error occurred while starting your game. So long as you didn't give me a loss, I don't care. That was weird. All right, three hours later, I'm confident we can play. Jason Verrett, Big Truss, and the Quad Father. What's he got? King. Oh, he's got King Henry. He's got Hawkinson, too. First play, King Henry goes down after three. I don't know why his King Henry didn't start with his ability. All right, King Henry's X Factor is up. He's gonna run the ball to him again. Oh, we gotta get there. Holy shit, that's speed boost on the air truck. That is a hell of a speed boost on that air truck. I'm gonna bring Micah Parsons over in case he does. He doesn't. He's gonna throw out the backfield. Somebody tackle him. I should have the backers to stop this. Oh, I dove a little early. Damn it! My tackling is atrocious right now. I gotta go low on him, too. I gotta remember that. Let's bring Thomas Davis down. That was an RPO. Dude, what is with the angles, gentlemen? Dude, I just got pancaked. Everybody just got pancaked. What's going on? I'm sending Palomalu down here. Nice stop. Seven rushes, 49 yards. He's killing me. He could always run the ball, too. If he runs or if he passes the ball, I'm in a lot of trouble, too. Just gonna go right up the middle. That's clogged. Good stop. Hey, he might have gotten all the way down here just to get stuffed. This is a lengthy drive, too. Oh, it's read option. What are with these angles? I don't know how to describe it. Everybody's taking these big looping angles rather than just going running at the guy. Well, he ran the ball a lot. What says we can't run the ball a lot? Let's run this to the right side. Cut it up the middle, run right past him. Quadfather's moving. That could have been a lot more than four. Yeah, he shifted his linebacker there too. Quentin Nelson, you couldn't get to that? Okay, dude, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna go Quadfather. He's gotta make a play, which he does. It's gonna be a halfback battle, no question. Can Herman Moore beat his man? Answer is a big resounding no. But guess who can't fumble? But guess who can't fumble? Big choice! Back to back games! Big draws! One rush, 46 yards for the maniac. I like this. Cut this up the middle. Might have been the wrong decision. Hawkinson, too Run. easy. What are you doing? Not in the Super Bowl, bro. No, what are you doing? Why did he dead stop? It was a perfect accuracy throw. I, I clicked on and aggroed like I always do. Unbelievably unlucky. <sighs> Three to seven. That's such a bummer. So inside zone, tackle low. Pitches it back. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that some cheeky ass play he just tried to run on me? Dude, if his quarterback had caught it, who knows what he could have done? That could have been a flea flicker. But his QB didn't want anything to do with it. It's a little ball don't lie moment. I like that. We need one of those. Great blocking. Quad father. See what we can do right up the middle. Right at the teeth. Second and seven. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think this is a free touchdown right here. Just a left side run. Damn. Would he expect me to be ballsy enough to run the same thing twice? No, but he blew it up. We're on the four in the Super Bowl. I could make this six to set. No, I want this. I'm going to send Hawkinson out on that route again. Oh, he's there. Got him. Jefferson. To stay in the pocket. Take this to 10 to 7. 31 seconds. He has three timeouts. He very well can score here. This has got to be quite the play here. Ah! Oh! Whoa. I'm just going to run base man here. Par him. Ooh, what the fuck? Dude, what is, what is up with me today? I'm just whiffing. All right, let's see if we can get a stop first and goal. We almost got it last time. I'm going to run commit. I think he is just handing this off. Ooh. No way a run commit middle can't get a read option. What is this shit? Oh, I'm so, I'm so tilted. Why is everyone keying on there? Oh, I gotta like do that thing where I keep my end on the QB. It's like an adjustment I have to make, I think. Falling apart on defense right now, but we have been able to score relatively consistently. 10 to 14, start with the ball, make it 17 to 14, and then I just can't get cheesed by that little option play anymore. I'm wondering if Herman Moore can take his man. Herman Moore torched him! Absolutely torched him! <laughs> Look at that downfield blocking. Just a beauty. He was kind of like jumping that little route from the quad. <laughs> Dude, how does that... Go watch the linebacker who's manned up on Quadfather. He literally is running the route before Quadfather is. It's pissing me off. Herman Moore, nice. Route. He's got the angle. Spin back in. Yup. 
Hey, beauty. I'm gonna block Hawkinson. I'm gonna shift my line right. Hopefully, I can scramble here. Oh, got him. Got him. Herman Moore, hell of a ball. The stiff arm broke one. I could get a rushing touchdown right now. Let's go quick base, Earl Campbell. It's not King Henry. I still trust the Ooh, we run commits. We still get it. Pipe left. Dude, Campbell's pissed that he got benched for the quad father, not King Henry. I keep mixing them up. I'm sorry. But an excellent response touchdown will make this 17 to 14. I got to figure out defense though, dude. Just a handoff. Parham's there. That might be the first time we TFL'd that Derrick Henry. Ooh, a read option. Does he pitch it? No. That's sketch. That's how you fumble right there. I can't get off Wilkins. Please let me switch. God, I hate this game. I'm on William Perry, the refrigerator. And he gets to throw a laser down the middle. It's not that I didn't have the time. It's that it glitches out and won't let you switch. Should probably be sending Aaron Donald. I'm not. But hey, that's a fourth and one. Does he take the field goal? I highly, highly doubt it. Why are you butt naked wide open in man coverage? I don't know. Six for six, 154. This guy's outplaying me. Let's just put it how it is. Could be QB rap again. So we put Wilkins in the spy. Bring Thomas Davis down. Let's do it again, baby. Hey, good stop. Let's see if he passes this one. He does. Oh, nice. Dude, he literally is, I think, seven for seven now. I mean, you run the ball effectively enough, though. It gets easy to pass. Got a double team over here. We can just do Big Trust. Oh, why is Big Trust not activated? How did Lamar lose his ability? Lamar gets it back for the offensive down split. Okay, so it's about to have it back. Let's just go to Earl Campbell out the backfield. Beautiful throw. Beautiful hit. Two-minute warning. I'm milking that clock, man. Big Trust is back up. Quadfather is back up. Let me shift my line to the right. See how this looks. Oh, that's a bad ball. Holy shit, what a defensive play. Switched on and swatted. That's a beauty. I'm in a box a little bit. I'm gonna see if Justin Jefferson can beat his man. Okay, he does. Great route on the whip. That's gonna be a first and more. Downfield blocking clinic. Let's go, Kittle. I'm gonna let this clock go. I'm gonna let Big Trust just roll out right. Let that go down to two. That was a very weird double team, but you know who's wide open, Herman? I don't want any more than that. I don't want any more than that, Herman. He knows exactly what I'm doing. Earl Campbell's back in. I do not like when Earl comes in. Prematurely, that is. I've thrown it a few times. Oh, he's going to jump it. Big trust. Big trust, baby. Big trust! I almost wanted him in the end zone. First and goal! I can chew a little more clock this way, though. Oh, he wants me to score right now. Come on, say my first rodeo, buddy. I want you to burn those timeouts. Yeah, go for the stop. Oh, no. Oh, he dropped it. Dude, he fully, fully baited me, and he dropped it. I'm just going to go to the edge with the quad father. Third and goal. The edge with... Dude, what kind of fucking scheme is that? <laughs> Fourth and goal from the six. I'm going to go five wide. I got to score right here, right now. Is this man? Three. Two. Herman, get off. He got it. Two clock maestro. I'm, I'm the play clock god. Dude, I did not play a horrible offensive game, but that was one of the worst defensive games I've ever played. He scored in 17 seconds with no timeouts. Just walked me down. And we still came out with a dub. 148.7 to a 158.3. 12 for 16, two touchdowns, no INTC through seven for seven, 160. Rushing, he was 14 for 52. Quadfather really couldn't get it going, but he had a he had a good defense, dude. He was his defense so much better than mine. It was Lamar Jackson that clutched up. Three rushes, 85 yards. Earl Campbell did have a touchdown. Receiving Herman Moore with the clutchest play of the game. Also five for 72. Hawkinson three for 58. What a fucking game. Did not get three rushing touchdowns, but we did win. In a Super Bowl with three seconds. This, you think the NFL is scripted? Wheel of Mutt is scripted. Look at that season, man. I've never had a season with so many close games. All right, boys, we'll give a huge shout out to this incredible 94 overall team. We'll have one brand new prestige player at the start of next season, along with all the prestiges you already know. Christian Okoye, Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson, Jason Kelsey, Troy Palomalu, Micah Parsons, and Sauce Gardner. All right, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.